Hello, everyone. It's Brian again. Uh, have you ever seen this email? It comes to your desk maybe once a week or twice a week. It's a list of your uh, quarantine mail from the Barracuda spam and virus firewall. Uh, this is where spam goes to live. And sometimes you want to find your spam because someone may have sent you something and, uh, and you're wondering why you didn't get it. So I'm going to show you a few things about this. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm just figuring this out myself. But I think I can tell you some things that will help you get through some frustration. So uh, when you get this message, um, you're going to have uh, an email link from me. And what I'd like you to do is to go to that email link, and it will look like this. So I'm going to send you this email. It's going to have an explanation that I'm doing this Camtasia. Uh, it will have a link to the web page where you can get the Camtasia, and it will have this address. Uh, I'd like you to take this address and copy it into a web browser. When you do that, you will get this uh, page. Your username, your username is your email address. So I typed in my email address. I'm going to say, I'm going to click create a new password. And I'm going to get this message that says that a password has been sent. If I go back to my group wise, uh, I'll find an email that, that they've sent. It will look like this. I think the new one just popped up. There it is. Then click on that link and it will take you to Barracuda. This is your, um, your page. Now, if you are happy getting your quarantines once a week, don't change anything. Leave it the way it is. It gives you a list of all these things. You can either delete them, you can deliver them, you can whitelist them. Whitelist means in the future, they theoretically won't be stopped by um, your spam filter. But if you're one of those people that likes to know on a daily basis, you can go to preference and click on um, quarantine settings. And you can set it here to daily if you want. Then it will send you it every week. If you don't care what's in your spam, if, if you're not worried about it, you can click never and you'll not get these anymore. But I recommend that you either do daily or weekly in case some parent or some person sends you information that you might want to access. So now, if, uh, if you ever want to um, access again, uh, there's no apparent way to get your uh, password what you'll have to do is set uh, to uh, this information. You have to set this web page as uh, a reminder someplace. And what I'm going to do is create a shortcut to it on my uh, desktop. So in the future, if someone sends me something, it doesn't arrive, it says check your spam, I can do it this way. So I'm going to go up here to the URL. I'm going to highlight it by clicking on it. I'm going to copy it. Um, I copy by pressing Control C. Uh, you may have another method. Now I'm going to go to the display. Show desktop display button down here in the bottom. And I'm going to right click. Right click on the screen in the blank spot. I'm going to create a new shortcut. I am going to paste in the URL address that I had copied. I use control V to paste and I'm going to click next. I'm going to call it uh, spam Barracuda spam filter and I'm going to click finish. So now I have on my desktop this icon so in the future if I ever want to check my spam I can go here I'm going to double click on it. It brings me to this page. I'm going to type in my username. And I'm going to click create a new password. Since I've never been given a password and I can't seem to find a place to find a password, 
I'm just going to use this method. Uh, and then I will get another one of these, and I will always be able to access my, access my spam whenever I want. So follow the link on the email. Have that, uh, have Barracuda's, Barracuda send you a new link. Click on it, create a shortcut on your desktop, and you'll be able to get your spam whenever you need it. Hope this has been helpful.